Each lab group will be given a target volume. You can notice they're all different. Whatever number you get, that is the volume of gas you will be trying to make. You'll make your gas in a flask by running a reaction, but collect the gas in a large graduated cylinder. You start with a trough. The trough must be half filled with water. Half full is just a judgment call. Anything close is fine. Your graduated cylinder then must be filled with water. To fill this last little space, you can use a beaker if you like. This next step can make a mess if you're not careful. Seal the top, invert. I have some airspace at the top. It's not a problem as long as I can read the volume of air already in the cylinder. When you read the volume, you have to read the bottom of the curve. It's called a meniscus. Uh, in the official run, your instructor will read the volumes for you, but for the practice, you can read your own volumes. To collect gas, you'll have your plastic tube under the mouth of the cylinder. And as gas comes through the tube, you will see the bubbles rise. They'll collect at the top, and we can get an accurate measurement of the volume. During the actual contest, this will be a timed reaction. You have up to three minutes to collect your gas. So the reaction rate may be important. To find the volume of gas collected, we remove the tube from below and simply take the difference from where it began to where it ended. And this difference is the volume of gas produced in the reaction. You'll have a stopper, a flask, and an eyedropper tip. The eyedropper tip should go into the stopper, but not all the way through. This is plenty good. This is sealed. Make sure the stopper fits securely on the flask. This will then be a conduit through which the gas can go.